we're gonna have to walk quite a bit. Look, look how far we are. It's ridiculously low. To give you an idea, these are, these are deep cracks. Right now you could see just the entire tree, almost the, the, the top side of the tree. So our kayak is deflating. It's, oh, it's working. It's working. <laughs> we just arrived at Lake Sonoma. We heard that, I'm here with my wife. We heard that Lake Sonoma is at record lows right now. So we decided to come out here and fly the drone, check it out and show everyone just how low it is. And it is looking pretty low. You can see the ridges on the, you know, on the riverbank. And you can see that it, it's pretty low. We're gonna get some shots of the marina too, so you'll be able to see how low it is over there. Everything was definitely lower. It wasn't as extreme as the pictures that me and my wife have seen on social media. So we're gonna head over to Yordi Creek. Yordi Creek, I, I guess that that's where it's really, really low. Um, the marina is really low, as you saw in the video also. However, Yordi Creek is where you can really see it, according to everyone. We just got to Yordi Creek and it's definitely dry out here. Usually there's water back here. So you can see the parking lot out there. And look, no water, no water at all. We're gonna go walk out there a little bit more and we're gonna shoot up the drone in a little bit just to show you exactly how dry it is. I've never, I've never seen it like this. And supposedly it hasn't been like this since like the since like I was a little kid, maybe before I was born. Look at this. Whew. Yeah, there's normally, that's usually filled with water. There's usually people fishing out here. Yeah, we have a raft in the back of the car. Just uh, because if you don't see how I'm dressed, I'm an adventure seeker. So we're gonna pump up the raft in the back and we're gonna go and look for some water and and we're gonna take this raft on actual Yordi Creek and just see how low it is. Usually this is where you launch from and we're gonna have to walk quite a bit. Look, look how far we are. It's ridiculously low. And I didn't make this, I just made this video to show everyone how low it is. It's not supposed to be an argument for global warming or people are drinking too much water, the agriculture, or anything like that. I'm not educated enough on those types of subjects to be able to give my two cents. I'm just, and, and you know, if you wanna give your two cents, leave them in the comments. I'm just out here to show everyone how low this is. Look, this tree up there, I've seen people so there's a tree up there. I've seen people literally jump into the river off of that tree. Where those little barricades are, I've seen people fish off of there. Right now we're, we're walking on riverbed or lake bed, if you wanna call it that. Definitely on lake bed. You can see a bunch of seashells under me. There's just little shells everywhere. There's more. There's literally shells everywhere. You do, you, you, you sink in a little bit and there's just shells everywhere. I didn't know that lakes had like clams and stuff. <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna be like this. I, I would've worn different shoes. Awesome. Whoa, 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 don't go this way. Whoa, oh whoa, whoa, no way. Yeah, 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 let's let's hop, hop back that way. So, oh, these shoes are ruined. Oh no, don't send me this way. What? <laughs> These are like really expensive running shoes. Yeah, I was just gonna say, are those your running shoes? Yes, they are. I just got them. Big mistake. Like $160 running shoes. 
ruined for the vlog. This vlog's getting pretty expensive. Um, you know what? It's part of the adventure. It'll be all right. The ground is so cracked. And these are, just to give you an idea, these are, these are deep cracks. Like, I could keep going if my, my hand was thinner. These are, these are really thick cracks. All right, let's keep it going. Look at this formation. Hey, you can see all the shells. I wonder if we're even gonna be able to launch. Oh, look, there's a fisherman up there. Shout out to Hector. He watches the vlog, he subscribed. Fucking out here fishing, he's gonna catch some good stuff. You got everyone out here just enjoying how low it is, actually, ironically. So there you could see all the various different types of ridges of how high the river has, or the lake has been. Usually, see all the trees out here. Usually the trees were over. I mean, whenever you're out here, you're over the trees. These trees, you're literally rafting, boating, everything over them. Um, right now you could see just the entire tree, almost the, the, the top side of the tree. What's up guys? <laughs> So our kayak is deflating. So here, this what it's supposed to look like, and this is what it's looking like right now. Should we get more water in it right now, or air in it? Oh yeah, I guess we could do that. Could we do it while we're in it, or we could get out? I don't know. I've never tried it while we're in it. Okay. Just gonna reinflate our raft so we don't sink. Here we got the full, the pump. Look at all these birds. Let's go inflate. It's, oh, it's working. It's working. <laughs> hey. I'm about to just ride with it. Just pump, the whole keep time. pumping it. Out here feeling like a real survivalist. It deflates faster and faster every time we pump it up. I'm tripped out on all the shells, like all the little white things on these beaches, they're all shells. They're all like clam shells, seashells. Imagine if you jump off of a boat or something yeah, like that, yeah. and then you hit like the top of one of these trees. Yeah. For anyone that's wondering, what we did is we took a right. There's a lot of trees, like you could see some of the trees right now, and there's a lot of trees going out that way. Our raft is deflating. Sun's going down, so we're probably not gonna go too far, but I am gonna shoot up the drone right here so you could see a little bit more of the lake and just how low the water is. Look at this. You could see, like, all that used to be water. All of this. You could see over there where the green starts. That's, like, how high the water used to be. So, here we could see some old posts. It looks like an old property line. And if you look over here, there's one post that goes in the water. I can only imagine how old those is posts that are. Is that another one up there? I think so, yeah. So I think that those posts were there before Lake Sonoma was, was filled. Before it used to be a Native American burial around, right, Brittany? And it was actually my wife's tribe. Uh, Dry Creek Rancheria, she's Pomo native. So this is like their old land. And I bet you someone bought property out here a really long time ago. And we have all these posts that have never been exposed before, or they haven't been exposed in years. If the lake goes back up, at least I was able to document this, just like the Geyserville floods. That was really cool to get that on film, even though we haven't had floods like that, obviously, or else. We probably wouldn't be having this lake issue right now. It's just nice to have video documentation of this. All this sand is usually the swimming spot. You have the little buoys out there. 
now it's just big sand mountain. Whew, and it's tiring. <laughs>